Man, how y'all feeling? How y'all living? It's AC Lucky back with another video. You feel me? Another set. Oh, God. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rasta, man. But I like to appreciate you guys for watching this video. I like to appreciate my ancestors. I like to appreciate Almighty God. I like to appreciate my angelic beings. I like to appreciate my angels, my spirit team. And that are here with me protect me as I make this powerful video for the masses of people all around the globe. And like I like I said, I like to appreciate you guys for even tuning in with the spiritual noise because this is spiritual noises right now. You feel me? Every time we tap in, we tap into spiritual noise. We tap into our soul. We tap into our heart. We tap into our spirit. We tap we tap into who we truly are. So every time we're doing this. We tapping into who we are. We getting better each and every day. We getting better each and every second. Time doesn't exist. One thing I've been noticing, time doesn't exist. And I need you guys to start to understand this. Like, time doesn't exist. Like, this life is nothing but illusion. So everything you go through is nothing but scripted testimony. You feel me? Scripted testimony for generations. And I've been noticing, like, when you connect with the sun, when you connect with the the grass and really start to listen to your soul, you remember more about the soul you are. I explained in my last video, I'm like, man, the movie Soul teaches you what's the loading screen. The loading screen you experience once upon a time. It's a loading screen. And the more we tap in with our soul, the more we is loaded to that screen. Like we in the loaded screen. Every time we tap in, it's a loaded screen. So it's like we gotta we gotta trust. You gotta trust, cause like of course the uh the energies and these entities they're trying to attack us from getting through that loaded screen. You gotta get through that loaded screen of your soul. You gotta listen to your soul and sit through that loaded screen. Because you are experiencing a loading screen. You are experiencing supernatural things. We are at the time of our life. We are experiencing supernatural things. Everything we go through is supernatural. It's, it's, not a, it's not a doubt that that sun is not alive. It's not a doubt that these trees and these nature trees are not alive. And this grass is not alive. This earth is alive. So... When they say everything is you, everything is you, it communicates back to you. So when you communicate with the trees, when you communicate with the nature trees, it's communicating something back to you. When you communicate with the wind, it's communicating something back to you because everything is you. That's why they say everything is you because everything communicates back to you. Everything you watch communicates back to you through vibrations or frequencies because everything is vibration and frequencies. And... I need you guys to understand this because I know sometimes things go over people here, but you don't got to shush yourself about it because it's simple. It's just that simple, man. Like, I'm hearing the ancestors like, bro, it's just that simple. You ain't got to trip and shush yourself because I'm picking up on that energy right now. We tapping into the spiritual noise. You feel me? Okay. It's fruit garden. Wow. Trees are alive. Trees are frozen, actually. These trees are frozen in time because time doesn't exist. But the nature trees are alive. The birds are communicating to you. Telepath communication with the birds. Telepi. You have these type of abilities. You can't communicate with the birds. You can't communicate with water. You can't communicate with wind. You can't communicate with God. Because you unlock the ability to see your reality for what it is. So when you start to see your reality for what it is, you start to connect with God. You start to get a better, better understanding on God. Because God is everything around you. Everything around you is guiding you. So if something's going to happen, God is going to point you to another direction. God know what's going to happen before you know what's going to happen.
because you are the guide of this avatar. So when you feel something, that's God. That's God telling you. So you ever had an experience where it's like you thought before you did it? You ever had an experience like something told you to do something and you actually did it? And when you did it, something happened. That's God. God won't won't never lead you to the wrong direction. God will always put you to the right direction. God will always guide you because you are experiencing a scripted reality. And the matrix is a scripted reality. And I need y'all to tap in to nature because nature is going to tell you that. When y'all tap in with the sun, the sun is going to tell you that. Because you, you are a multidimensional being. And when you are a multidimensional being, you are everything. You are a dolphin. You are a fish. You are grass. You are <laughs> the nature trees. You are birds. You are everything. You are your ancestors. You shape shift. One thing you got to understand about being a spiritual being, you can shape shift when you unlock that within yourself. When you are able to balance things, you are able to shape shift. It depends on who you are. Who you are in the spirit. Because you have to connect with spirit. In order to even understand. Who you are as a soul. Connecting with your spirit. Contacting your spirit. Contacting your higher self. Contacting your higher self. So at this time y'all. We are contacting our higher self. Every time we choose to vibe out, we are connecting with our higher self. Our higher, our higher self, our higher self is who we are. We are perfect. That's what they don't tell us. We are perfect. It's the God we come from. Our lineage, our tribe, it's the God we come from. We come from the sun. We come from these things. So we got God abilities in the matrix. Every time we come back in the matrix, we are here to experience a God ability. We are here to experience a human experience because this is not who we really are. We not humans at all. We are not humans at all. And the, the more I get in tune with my spiritual self, I'm realizing that we are not human at all. And I'm just a guy. I'm a spirit guide in human form. And I'm letting the world know that you are not a human. You are just a soul in this body. Your spirit body is who you are. You exist on many dimensions, many planets, many galaxies. You are in these places now. You are in these places now. That place is within you. That place that you seek for is within you. That thing you look at is within you. This is within us. This painting on the picture, this is within us. Everything we see is reflection. I'm eating these fruit, y'all. I don't care. But... The more you walk your journey of life, the more you understand. That's that moment I'm at right now. Like, I'm understanding. Like, I'm really speaking facts. Like, this is my ancestors. I am my ancestors. So it's like, I know I could go on and on and on. But as a, as a being, you are attacked. As a being, you are attacked from all areas. So it's like, of course, some days you're not going to have your full energy to do something. But it's still like you still have to do it. I, I still have to do it. It's still my purpose. 
No matter how many things attack me, I transmute that into positive energy and and I do what I do. It's like magic. You feel me? It's like magic. Using your energy as magic. And when you learn to use your energy as magic, you can transmute and you can control the elements because you are a god. You are a God in the matrix. So when you connect with the stars, you connecting with God. You can you, you contacting your planet. Every time you do these things, you are contacting your planet. Every time you see angel numbers, that's your planet. That's your planet number. That's that's the angelic being trying to get your attention. It may be your angels too, but that's the angelic being. The angelic being that's home. That's home trying. Get in contact with you. So every time you see these signs, that's home. You got to connect with home. When you connect with home, you remember who you are. And then you start to elevate, ascend spiritually. Because you are here to elevate and ascend spiritually. You are not here to worship things. You are not here to worship false gods. You are here to worship your ancestors who, who, who created you, where you are from. You are here to worship... Who you are, who you really are. They took that away from you. They hide your history, your whole entire life because you are more powerful. You are more intelligent than you realize it's gone beyond imagination how old we are. We reincarnate through these vessels. So we get our memory erased. And I'm here to teach you guys, like, the more you go within, the more you awaken your memory. The more you listen to the spiritual noise, the more you awaken your memory, your subconscious. The more you tap into your subconscious. You are tapping into your subconscious. You are tapping into your higher self. You are contacting your higher self. So every time you contact your higher self, your higher self is going to be there. You can contact your higher self like this and it's going to be there for you because your higher self is always applying power, applying energy into your every single day life, every single day script. It's applying energy. So you got to use that energy your higher self give you. And apply it to what you do. So when your higher self give you an idea. It's like you got to react on that idea. Because that's from your higher self. It's like when you get a good feeling. That's your higher self. That's your higher self dropping the download on you. Like let's say for example. You are telepath communicating with someone. Your higher self is going to drop that download on you. So you're going to see it in your reality. In the material realm. This is the material realm. You are experiencing the material realm. The material realm is the material realm. It's nothing but physical illusion things that are projected from your own two eyes that you use because these own two eyes is it was placed. I'm saying it was placed. You was you are a vessel. You are in a vessel. So these eyes are already placed on you at birth. So when you come into this world, they place you with eyes that cut you from this illusion. They use your power. They use your imagination to make you think you are experiencing a real reality. That's how deep this shit get. It's like these are not your eyes. They put these eyes in you. I'm saying they give you these eyes. It's like you are literally a government lab experiment. When you are a chosen one, you are a government lab experiment. experiment. Because you can do things like this. You can contact your planets. You can go back to your planets. You can contact your ancestors. You can telepath communicate with birds. You can do a lot of powerful natural things. You are a superhuman. And that's not normal in the matrix. So as a chosen one, you got to protect your energy. As a chosen one, you got to. Guide yourself and let your spirit guide guide you. Let your spirit guide guide you. Let God guide you. Your spirit. Let your spirit guide you through the way. 
everything you're going through in the present moment, let your spirit guide you. Once you let your spirit guide you, the more you unlock your purpose. But I may see like I'm signing up. That was like a little random off the dome. I got so many things attacking my energy right now. But it's like, this is powerful how I can do this. Do the things that I'm going through, the illusions that I'm going through. It's like, it's like damn, this is so powerful. It's like, damn. It's like the more you get attacked, the more powerful you get. Always keep that in mind, eternal squad. No matter how many times you fall down, the more times you get up, the more powerful you, your soul becomes, your spirit becomes, the more strong you get, the more strength you build, the muscles you build. You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel me? Y'all feel the vibes, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody, every high vibrational species, God, goddesses, and everybody that's doing their thing and vibing high, man. Just that simple. I appreciate my ancestors, Almighty God, my spirit team, my angelic beings, my angels that are here protecting me as I make this powerful video for the masses of people. 16, 16. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it?